Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 356. Intrinsic Hemolytic Normocytic Anemia. What is the defect in hereditary spherocytosis? In hereditary spherocytosis, the defect is in the protein of the red blood cell membrane skeleton and plasma membrane. And these proteins include anchorin, band 3, protein 4.2, or spectrin. How do the red blood cells appear if there is a defect in the proteins of the red blood cell membrane skeleton and plasma membrane? Because of these membrane defects, there is going to be less membrane, which will cause the red blood cells to appear small and brown with no central pallor. So they are going to lose their biconcave shape as well as lose their pallor. So the red blood cells are going to become small and round, which will increase their MCHC, which stands for mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, as well as there will be an increase in the red cell distribution width. What happens to the red blood cells if they become small and round because of the defect in proteins of the membrane skeleton and plasma membrane? If the red blood cells become small and round and becomes odd in appearance, the macrophages in the spleen will try to remove them. So there is going to be premature removal of the red blood cells by the spleen. And this leads to splenomegaly. What are the findings observed in hereditary spherocytosis? In hereditary spherocytosis, you would see splenomegaly, as we already mentioned, and you would also see aplastic anemia because you have decreased in the amount of all these cells. And also, because of that aplastic anemia, there is also an increased risk of parvovirus B19 infection. What lab test is used to diagnose hereditary spherocytosis? The lab test used to diagnose hereditary spherocytosis is positive osmotic fragility test. And in this test, what happens is that red blood cells will swell up and die in a hypoosmolar solution due to the deficient structural proteins. What is the treatment for hereditary spherocytosis? The treatment for this would be splenectomy. So removing the spleen will solve the problem. Because these patients would actually be fine if it wasn't for their spleen eating up all the red blood cells that it recognizes as being odd in appearance. So if you remove the spleen, it will solve this problem. One additional thing to note about hereditary spherocytosis is that you can see the letter E right next to the name. The reason that E is there is because this is an extravascular condition. Now as we describe this condition, you could see that the cells are being destroyed by the spleen. So because spleen is what is causing the problems, this condition is extravascular. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.